Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the Webhooks add-on by WP Forms. The Webhooks add-on allows you to send form data to any secondary tools or external services, and all without writing any code or using a third-party connector. This is a great alternative to our Zapier add-on and for users that are a bit more tech-savvy. You can use APIs to call form data from WP Forms directly to a ton of different apps and tools. With that said, let's get right to it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Webhooks add-on. We can do this by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and finding the Webhooks add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Now that the add-on has been activated, we can head into the Form Builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left-hand side. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse to the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. Let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. We need to enable webhooks for our form, so click on the Settings tab on the left, and select the Webhooks tab, and then toggle the Enable Webhooks option on. This will open a series of settings that you can configure. Let's go through each of the settings to learn more about them and what they do. By default, a webhook will be unnamed, but you can click on the pencil icon to add a name to it if you'd like. You can also create multiple webhooks for a form by clicking on the blue Add New Webhook button on the top right corner and fill out the settings sections for each one. The first webhook setting is Request URL. This will be used to connect WP Forms to a secondary app. Usually you can get this URL from the Service or Tools API after setting up a basic connection. Request method will let you select the HTTP method you'd like to use when your webhook request runs. You can choose from any of the following methods based on the type of connection you're looking to create. The get method will take details from a submitted form and send them to a connected app. The post method will take information submitted through WP Forms and send it to a secondary device. The put method will let you update data when your webhook runs. The patch method will let you replace data when your webhook runs. And finally, the delete method enables you to delete information when this specific webhook runs. The next setting is request format. This will tell your server what type of data is being sent through your webhook. It will also set the content type header value for your data. There are two request format types available, JSON and form. The JSON method will format your data in the following format and will set the content type as such. The form method will format your data in the following format and will set the content type as shown in the following example. As a side note, data is typically sent in JSON format as this makes things easier to change on the server side which includes validation, formatting, and sanitization. The secret key will generate a hash or a unique ID for each completed request. This basically acts as a signature to verify the origin of your HTTP request and will always be provided in the request header. In most cases, if you're integrating your forms with a third-party service, you won't need to fill out the secret setting. This setting is mainly intended for developers using their own APIs for verification. The request header setting lets you define the HTTP header's key and value to be sent with your webhook request. And finally, the request body setting allows you to define the keys and values that will be sent in the body of your webhook's request. Now that we've learned what each of these keys mean, let's put them into practice by creating a webhook to connect WP Forms to Slack. We'll first need to open a new tab to go to Slack's API page. Afterwards, Click on the Create an App button. An overlay will pop up where you'll select how you'd like to configure this new app. Choose the From Scratch option. In the next page, give your app a name and then select the Slack workplace you'd like to create this app for. Afterwards, click on the Create App button. The next page will show you some basic information about the app you're creating. Scroll down to the Add Features and Functionality section and click on Incoming Webhooks. You'll then see a section called Activate Incoming Webhooks that has a toggle on the top right corner. Turning this on will open up further details below. 
In this new section, you're going to see a button called Add New Webhook to Workspace. Click on it to open a new overlay, where you'll select which specific Slack channel you'd like to send messages to. Once you've made your selection, click Allow. A new URL will appear in the Webhook URLs for your Workspace section. Copy this URL and tab back over to the WP Forms form builder on your website. In the Request URL field, paste the Webhook URL you just copied. For the Request Method setting, we're going to select the Post option since we want to send our form data to Slack. For the Request Format setting, we're going to leave it as JSON. We can leave the secret field blank and let it auto-generate when the webhook runs. But if you're a developer, you can enter your own secret value here. We don't have any specific values we need to send with our request, so we can leave the request headers blank as well. In the request body fields, since our visitors are going to be entering text in our form, we'll set the key to text. Next, you're going to select the name of the form field whose data you'd like to send to Slack. So in this case, it can be the name field, email field, or comment and message field. For this example, let's select the comment or message field. If you'd like to send the data for any additional fields, you can click on the blue plus button to add more fields. Once you're done, save your changes, and you can go ahead and test out your form to make sure that your form data is being successfully sent to Slack. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the Webhooks add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.